All right, Todd here with Jeep Speed Shop. Here we have 2015 Jeep JK Unlimited. This has got a 5.7 liter truck Hemi and also the eight speed. Now this eight speed is HP 75. I have a Dodge Ram truck, four wheel drive. So actually I'm gonna talk about communicating. So we have this cable here, which comes in the wiring kit for the PSC module, which connects right to that, right there. This goes to a laptop, obviously, for a USB. Um, that is so that we can communicate with the PCS module, which is located right under here. Um, only for, this is only for like, looking at the PCS module, there's no, you can't go in there and change parameters in the tranny or do any modifications. Um, to keep keep this cable with you in the Jeep, just in case we have a problem, we need to do an update to the module or there's something new that we got or or whatever. So hang on to this cable, keep it. This is only for the PCS module, all right? That's the module that's up front of the shifter. Okay, there's, there's that. Now, there's this. So the OBD2 ports, there's two now transmission which is the one we added this is the one from the jeep which is stock all right so to communicate with the transmission you have to hook to this one all right i use we have a couple different scanners this one here's the one i use mostly we have uh, another one a newer one and even an older one um but this is what i do every time this jeep's fresh just got it going before I go drive it, make sure the fluids are full, you know, get my eight, nine quarts in it, make sure everything's good. Then what I do is I will hook the scan tool to the transmission port. All right, now I've, I've done these before, so it's gonna be in my previous file, all right? So, view history. Um, and then, this is a 75, all right? So it's a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee four-wheel drive, 6.2 liter supercharged setup that we use for tap shift. Click on that. So it'll say the VIN and all the information. Click on that. Okay. Hey, you know, guess what? Good idea to turn the key on. Good thing that thing's smarter than I am. Whew. All right, let's try that again. All right, so we're in the transmission area, see? Okay, check codes. Okay, those codes are always gonna be there. All right, these are from the car that's missing. So it's missing the Grand Cherokee. So it's gonna have these codes. Those are normal, all right? Because we didn't do anything special with this transmission. It's mostly stock, but these codes will be there always. So you don't go in there and go, oh no, look at, I got all these codes. Well, it's, it, uh, remember, this is only going to the transmission. It is not necessarily information from the Jeep. This is information from the train. So what you can do, back out. You can clear them. Yep, okay, you can just do that to do it, okay? Boom, all right, code's cleared. Then I go down to miscellaneous functions. Okay, reset learned adaptations, super important. Okay, complete, done. So now it's good for me to drive. So now it's, doesn't have any bad mojo in it, no junk. Everything's gonna be good. Transmission's cleared out, ready to go. Now I gotta go through my, my drive procedure. My drive procedure is to drive 30 miles or more, easy throttle, quarter, you know, not really hard throttle, not like you know, trying to see how much power it's got. 
let it shift, go through all the gears, drive it around like that, not just freeway, just drive it around, really easy gas pedal, really easy driving for 30 miles, because this transmission learns bad habits, it knows stuff. So drive it nice for a while, It'll, it's, it might drive clunky, might get a little, but it'll come around. So we found that, oh yeah, the little clunky, little problems here and there, and then it kind of like learns it out and it's gone. So you gotta do that first. We found that to be the best. So this is kind of the procedure I go through before I go drive these things. Get everything all prepped. Make sure the transmission's got at least eight to nine quarts when you pulled the pan and you know we flashed the valve body, you put it all together, you know, I'm not going to tell you exact how many because it, it always varies, but generally eight to nine quarts. Get it running. You know, you can't, you, and when you do the fluid, it's got to be running. Okay, in park, running, pull the plug, add the fluid in the side. You know, you got to start off with four quarts and then you get it running. And then you add another four to five quarts, get it all topped off, ready to go. And then you go through this procedure by clearing out the computer, getting everything fresh. And starting over so all right uh, just a quick overview of this transmission setup in this jeep but this jeep's done yeah we're gonna be wrapping her up and getting it out of here this thing runs awesome man i love these so all right jeep speed shop